Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our channel. I'm Rof Yaseen. In the previous video, we have successfully displayed our dashboard form and we are also uh, successfully navigating throughout our application from our dashboard form. Okay. So in this video, I want to display access level for each user and I want to also display this, uh, you can say, this admin uh, well admin values as well so if our users role is admin then this menu will be shown otherwise this menu will be hidden okay let's start now so inside our table we have these three roles currently role id 1 admin and it has full rights then two normal rights and three limited rights so if you remember in our login form we are setting this value uh, st uh, storing this value into logged in user dot role id uh, in one of our previous video okay so i wanna go to dashboard and i will go to double click and open up farm load event and after this i wanna create an method just get rid of this label we don't want to store this uh, you can say role id okay so set set up user access so we are creating this function and press control dot to generate this one and over here we will specify each user for function first i wanna set up this label value so let's check the name role label copy and I will use switch statement over here switch of logged in user dot role id and over here I will specify cases case 1 and role label dot text equals to full rights and after this I'll simply create break okay so let's copy this one if our role ID is one then the user should have full rights then three currently we have only three roles one two three power user and user case two and case three okay so number rights and then limit rights first check out this it is working or not then we'll do further admin sorry roof admin Oops. and our access label is not perfectly working and it's it's not m modified so we should also see what is happening over here so let's make sure row label row label and let's add breakpoint over here and start again Oof. Oof. and we are calling this function step into row id what's happening over here start again oops it's getting role id as an 8 but we have defined case 1 2 3 4 5 stuff like that so let's make sure what is our role id inside our database so go to users table edit and look at this we have role id 8 over here because i have changed this one start again i hope it should work now perfect we are getting role id full rights if i create a new user over here 
so ali ali and it is a power user save and let me add one more ahmed ahmed and this time it should be simple user save information close login again to make sure it is working or not ali ali and ali is a power user so access is normal rights if you start again and this time with ahmed limited rights perfect now i wanna hide this one if my current user is not administrator and it if it doesn't have any full rights so it should not be able to see this menu so it cannot perform insert user view user stuff like that it cannot uh, define roles and it cannot set this user access okay so first make sure what is the name of this tool label menu strip click okay and it's an admin layer tool let's change this one to admin menu okay and now i can easily access this one admin menu in my code so over here if our user has role id 1 then it has full rights and then it should be able to admin menu dot visible equals to true and we will set this admin menu right click go to properties and we will set default visible status of this label or this menu is false so that no one can see by default but in case if role id is 1 and it has full rights then this should be visible if you start again rouf which is an admin of our application login look at this this is admin has full rights and it can see this admin menu over here but if i st start again and this time i will i will log in with ali perfect we are not uh, we cannot now create new roles and we cannot now access you can say we cannot now perform uh, insert users and view users and insert roles and view roles and also we cannot perform uh, we cannot manage user privileges but if you see over here we have user role view roles add user and view users these four buttons of uh, buttons of here but over here so we can also validate these buttons of uh, buttons over here so if i'm uh, i will do only for this one if i double click you can then copy for rest of button buttons double click and if logged in user dot role id is equals to 1 display form and do what you want otherwise simply else and display and message you are not allowed to perform this operation okay access denied and then buttons dot okay and icon dot information start again and this time i'll log in with admin i can easily click but if i log in with another user ali ali let me change this one start click on this look at this you are not allowed to perform this operation access denied so this is how you can validate your users to access specific menus and you can validate on the basis of role id because we are using roles in our application so all this is all about a for this course uh, in the next video i'll show you how to use create this template for your every next project and how to use a complete user management setup rather than creating uh, each and every time a new setup and copy pasting code or creating again and again this code you can create use this one this project for all of your next uh, you can say next projects so we will save template and then you can reuse this template and your every new project should have all of these codes and you you can easily reuse them
اوکے تھینک یو سو مچ فار واچنگ ویل میٹ اگین ان دا نیکسٹ ویڈیو ٹیک کیئر اللہ حافظ السلام علیکم